Sometimes when you're working in 90 Second Website Builder, you want to be able to preview your work from design mode into preview mode. And so we're going to talk about that in this video tutorial. Hi again, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. Let me show you a really cool trick. When you're working in the design mode, there are certain things, certain objects that don't quite look the way they're going to look in the final preview inside a web browser. You know, obviously as you place text and images onto your canvas, it's fine. You'll see what they're going to look like. But sometimes you place objects that are actually uh, dependent on a third party. For example, in this particular case, I've built a page where I want to show a video. And so I used the 90 Second Website Builder HTML5 video tool and drew a box right here, which is where my video is going to play. However, I can't watch this video play in design mode because that video is actually being stored on what's called the Amazon S3 video server. Let me show you what I mean. If I double click on this, you'll see this is a video that's being stored on a different domain. It's not stored on my local computer. I can't watch this video from here because of where it is. How do I look at my video in design mode? Well, that's what the preview feature is for. So we can see what this website's going to look like before we actually publish it to a server live in front of the public. We want to see what it looks like so we can just preview in our local browser. So that's what we're going to do here in just a second. Let me show you another example first. So here I've designed an opt-in form. But the code for that form comes from a third party. In my case, I use a company called Aweber to provide my opt-in forms and my autoresponder system. And what they do is they give me just code that I can paste into my website. So I use the 90 Second Website Builder HTML tool, drew a box, and I pasted the code that Aweber gave me right here into this box and clicked OK. The problem is I can't see what that form looks like unless I'm able to preview it in a browser because right now we're on a design canvas. It's a very simple process. All I'm going to do is I'm going to click the F5 button and when I click F5, it actually generates a temporary web page from that canvas and shows me what my web page is going to look like as if we were live on the internet. Actually, what we've done is we've just opened up a local browser window, as you can see up here. We're not actually online, even though my computer is connected to the internet. I just opened up a local browser window. Now, because I am connected to the internet, look what happened my computer knew to go to Amazon and go get that video. And it actually shows here in preview mode. In fact, I could even play the video. Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. And so I can see what it's going to look like before I've actually published this page to a server. Also note that my Aweber form is showing just fine. Let me move the camera over a little bit. And you can see, I can see how that's going to look and how that's going to line up. But I have to be in a browser window to see this because the code that I pasted here requires a connection to the internet so that my computer can go find that Aweber source and feed it into this page. Now, I haven't published this page to a host or a server. I'm simply looking at it on my computer in a browser window. And so that's what the preview mode is for because while you can see most things that you've put on your canvas like images and text and some of the simpler objects, sometimes when you're using third party pieces of the puzzle, you need to be able to preview your work. Also by previewing, you can see how things are centering and lining up because the canvas shows that a little bit differently on purpose. There's a reason for that. Obviously, we're working with rulers and pixels in the canvas mode. And here, we're working in a semi-live mode where we can test our browser. What happens when somebody stretches their browser? We'll be able to see what that looks like in preview mode. And that's why in so many of my video tutorials, you'll hear me say, I'm going to press F5 to see what this looks like in a browser. And that's how that works. Now, let me say just one more thing about the preview mode, because some people get a little bit confused about one thing. And that is, they say, you know, I, I went to go preview my website, but when I clicked on my links, the pages didn't open up. Well, there's a reason for that. And it's a really good reason. And you want this to be true because otherwise it could really bog down your system. When you click F5, what you're doing is you're only previewing one page. When I click the F5 button, what the software is doing is it's taking this canvas 
this one page, and it's generating one temporary web page so that I can preview it. As soon as I shut it down, that temporary file goes away because we don't need it anymore. It's just temporary. It's not the one that's going to get published. But what if I wanted to preview my links and see how they're working? How would I publish all of my pages? Well, there is a way to do that, and here's how you do it. When you go to the File menu and you go to Preview in Browser, you'll see that there's an option to preview the entire website. Now, right now, I have this off because I don't want to preview the entire website every time I press F5. The reason for that is because I'm working with a really large website. And every time I press F5, my computer is going to generate every single page in my project temporarily so that I can preview all of them. And I don't always want to do that. Now, if I was working with, say, a two, three, four page website, that would be fine. And I can generate those three or four pages and it wouldn't be a problem. But I'm working with a large website right now. So I want to have the control of what gets generated for preview. Now, if you do want to preview your entire website, you can turn this on. Right now, this is turned off. Here's how I know because the icon next to preview entire website is clear. Watch what happens when I select this and I'll go back to preview browser, you can see it's actually highlighted. That means it's toggled to on, the on position. And when it's toggled into this position to preview the entire website, in other words, when that's enabled, what happens now when I press F5 is my software is going to generate every page in my project so that I can preview it, which in my case is going to take a long time. Watch, I'll show you what I mean. I press F5, look what the software is saying. It's not just generating this one page, it's generating all of my pages right now. And since this is a big website, I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to do that right now. So in my case, I like to keep that, at least in this particular project, I like to keep that toggled off. So I'm going to go back to Preview and Browser, click on that again, and show you that it is now toggled off. So now when I press F5, I can preview one page at a time. But again, that option is there for you. And sometimes there is a time to preview the entire website. Again, like I said, if you're working with uh, a fewer uh, number of pages and then it becomes practical, just be aware that if you are working with a large website and you want to preview it, it's going to take a few minutes sometimes to generate all of those pages so that you can test your navigation. And that's fine to do. Just be aware of how that works. Now, here's just a side note. You may have noticed that when I went to my file menu right here, it does pop up this way just as you would expect in any Windows program, you would normally see this kind of an interface. 90 Second Website Builder has two different kinds of file menus. And right now I have mine in the old standard or classic mode. When you click on your file menu right now, you, might, you may wonder why yours looks different if it does. And let me show you why. Because if you go to Tools and Options, and choose the user interface, the file menu has two different settings. And right now I have it on the standard menu setting. If I was to turn this to the backstage view and click OK, the file menu actually comes up a little bit differently. Let me click on it now. This is the backstage view. And while it is similar, it's not exactly the same. And some people prefer this view because it's a great way to see uh, you know, your recent documents when you click on File. If you don't necessarily want to look at it this way, you can always switch this back to the classic view. So I'm going to click this arrow, go back, and I'll go to Tools, Options, User Interface, and make this be a standard menu. Because the standard menu makes it a little bit easier to see some things. For example, what we were just talking about, the file, preview and browser, and preview entire website. Okay, that's just a sidebar, but just in case you're wondering why mine may look different than yours, that's why. You can switch that back and forth all you want. Anyway, just want you to know how to use the preview mode and when not to preview the entire website and when you can preview the entire website because it's a really essential part of designing your website to be able to look at what you're doing before you actually publish but still see it in a browser window. It's a really critical part actually of the design process and something you should get used to doing as you're building websites in 90 Second Website Builder.